At seven years of age, Alan Spoon is already a two-year veteran of acting, and she's acting in some big shows like uh, HBO's Watchmen. It's actually a show maybe she can't watch, only when her mother wants to. Hi, Adeline, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, it's nice to see you. I love your pretty yellow dress, that's cute. Oh, thank you, I like yours too. Oh, thank oh yeah, well, it's, you know, it's just a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shirt. Thank you. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, acting. You're acting with some really top-notch actors like Regina King and Don Johnson. Yeah. And this is a really dark and kind of spooky show. But tell me how you got the role. Well, I, I was watching TV and I just came to my mom and I was like, hey, mom, I really want to be on TV. Can I? So she signed me up for it. And this was my first audition and i i started when i was five and it was really fun did you have to learn did they send you some lines and you had to memorize them and stuff and, and you did yeah. an on-camera audition mm -hmm. what was that like well I, well was it fun yeah it was fun learning the lines it wasn't scary when you did that no. Oh, so tell me why you like acting so much. Well, it's just because like it's my thing and I really like doing it. It's just something that I really like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of kids say, you know, I want to I want to be on TV or in a movie, but they don't do that and you actually did it. So that's got to feel pretty good, huh? Yeah. So tell me about because I watched The Watchmen, and, and there's some really scary parts. So what are the rules in your family about watching the show you're in? Well, sometimes, like, when I watch it, my mom closes my eyes. Like, she says, like, close your eyes on the scary parts. And then I watch it. Like, I watch the rest. Like, on the scary parts, I close my eyes, and then I open them when the scary parts, like, are not there. So, okay, so uh, a lot of actors, you know, have to be in Hollywood to do their thing. You, you shot this in Atlanta, right? Yes. So, so you went from the big city of Charlotte to the, little, the bigger city of Atlanta. Have you been to L.A. yet? Have you been to Hollywood yet? Yes, we have. Well, what was that like for you? It was, it was amazing. Why? Well, because... Um, it was just super fun, and on the street with all the stars and everything. Oh yeah. Oh, how cool! Who do, who are you looking for? Are you looking for anybody in particular when you're looking at the stars? Probably um, people you don't know, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but maybe someday your your name could be on that sidewalk. Yeah. Would you like that? I would love that. That would be super cool. Oh, well, someday it could happen. You know, you never know. You, you absolutely never know. Okay, so let's imagine that you're, uh, you're, you're going to turn eight years old, that you get a role that next year or the year after, you win an Academy Award. What would that be like? Oh, my gosh, that would be, like, amazing. What, can, what would you say in your speech? Thank you so much. I love this. Would you thank your mom? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I just want to remind you that, you know, mom has a lot to do with what you're doing, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Now, now uh, so tell me what you're working on now. What's the next project for you? What are you auditioning for? Well, hmm. Hmm. You don't really know yet, huh? <laughs> no. And maybe you can't even talk about it because sometimes it's a secret, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I won't. Uh, I won't. I don't want you to reveal any secrets right now. But yeah. this is fantastic. You know, you've had such a great career, and and you're so good. You're very natural on screen. You're very good. Thank you. And and it looks like your teeth have grown back because I saw you once without. Yeah. <laughs> that one has grown. <laughs> well, that's good. that's fantastic. All right. So we can watch you on The Watchmen on HBO. And uh, and one of my favorite actors, of course, is Regina King. She is terrific. Yeah. She plays your stepmom. Yes, she's amazing. She's really nice. Yeah, has she showed you a few tricks of acting? Yes. Like what? Give me one thing she's she taught you about acting. Like, to, hmm. Huh, that's a tough one, huh? 
because she, she probably says, just be yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the best part. That's the best ad lib there is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well, congratulations on the, on the success of the show. And tell your mom thanks for letting, her, letting you do this interview with Carlos and Lisa. It's great to have you, and I wish you much success. Now, before we go, do you have, do you have social media yet? Do you have a social media account on Instagram or Facebook or anything? Tell me what those are. Hold on. Uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh, She's taking cues from her mom, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so Adeline Spoon. All right, so we can find you at Adeline Spoon. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations again. Nice to have you on the show, and best of luck to you. And ne you know what? Well, I'll see you next at the Academy Awards. Shh. Okay. okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>